Hi everyone. Welcome to Jabatiki. I hope by now you have a good understanding of Kafka streams and its basic. So far we have tried a simple fraud detection system, but Kafka stream has many more powerful features that can make our example more real time and dynamic. So before we dive deeper, it's always important to strong our basic. In the previous example, if you remember, we played with all string data but what if we want to work with object how will kafka serialize and deserialize them how can you tell kafka stream which serializer or deserializer to use remember if you mess this up your streams can break so well in this video we'll discuss kafka studies with hands on example okay all right so without any further delay let's get started So we have tried this particular example in our last video where we are consuming the string of events if you see the parameter and if you go and check in your controller class we are just creating the object then we are converting it to the json string then we are sending that json string to this transactions topic then from the transaction topic our kafka stream will filter the fraud alerts based on the condition what we have defined then again it write back to another topic in the form of string correct now what if i don't want to play with the string rather i want to play with the actual object now the question here how can you teach to your kafka stream to deal with this particular object or how can you define the serializer and deserializer so in kafka stream term it is called sudis okay it is nothing the prefix of serializer and deserializer a c r d e it is up to you how you want to pronounce whether serializer and deserializer or just sudis in kafka stream okay let's do modification in our code to use object instead of string so now at first step we need to stop sending string data to the transactions topic okay so if you remember the flow from the producer application we are sending string data to this particular topic then our kafka stream read that string and write it back as a string to this fraud alert topic okay so first stop sending string from here and this kafka template now send what this particular transaction object so you also need to change the kafka template to map the value as a transaction object next you also need to define in your application.yml what value serializer you have defined while producing the messages string right just change it to json serializer org spring framework kafka support serializer and json serializer okay now our producer is done he will not send string what he will send he will send direct transaction object to this particular topic now who will process after that our kafka stream now go to the kafka stream code here what you can do you can tell this kafka stream to not use string use the transaction object directly so what you can do you can create the variable let's say transaction sorry then you can use new json sorry and you can define the object type not here now you can use this particular transaction serializer deserializer to use the object as a value okay so what we'll do i'll just comment this whole code we'll also use the functional style coding using java 8 okay so at first place what is our task we need to read from the input topic so i will use the builder dot stream give the topic name transactions then which type of input and output you are getting key as a string value as a transaction object so you can define consumed with 
you can define our own studies whatever we have created you can just define like this what it will return to you it will return you case stream of key as a string and value as a transaction object are you good here fine now what is the next step let me yeah now what is the next step you have this stream now you need to write this particular logic to filter out fraud alerts okay let's do that in functional style coding you have the streams what next you just need to filter out the key and value and from value you need to figure out if transaction exceed greater than 10000 or not so you have the key and value better instead of value you can define this as a transaction okay because now as a value you will get the direct object so what you need to do here transaction dot amount if it is greater than 10000 then filter that record what next you want to do i want to just print the statement for debug purpose for this demo otherwise as i already explained you can have multiple consumer to process the record okay so what i'll do i will just add a uh, sys out or some log statement better i will copy this then simply add here fraud alert just the object that's it now what is the last step you want to do what we are doing here we are writing it to the another topic called fraud alerts okay so what i'll do i'll just define to where you want to write fraud alerts topic on which format do you want to produce it as a string or you want to produce it as a object i want to produce it as a object so you can use produced with again key is same string studies and value is what this one all good that's it now you can return the stream let me remove the previous code what happened to this guy okay change it to transaction all good now how clean is this code only three line that is on method chaining using java it stream okay so things will be more complex in upcoming videos when we will use the windowing logic when we will use the group by map flat map all the methods okay so have patience let's go slowly one by one everything we can digest at one go let's understand from the basic then we'll go step by step to the advanced concept now what next if you remember in application.yml as part of the stream configuration what is the key and value study we have defined key as a string that makes sense but value do you want to use the string no right we want to use the transaction object or we want to use the json study how you can define that simple thing just copy this now you just need to change this to okay that's it looks good now now let me quickly start the zookeeper and kafka server now let's test our application let me restart it now it seems up and running now one thing i want to show in the console let me search it now what is the key studies we are using strings uh, string one right now if you see here what is the value study we are using json so our key serializer and deserializer is configured correctly right let me clear this now let me open the swagger i'll just trigger the request same it will trigger 50 transaction object instead of string transaction now it will send 50 transaction object let's see this response is success go to the code see the console output fraud alert for transaction our stream application successfully able to get the transaction object directly and filter out the fraud transaction which is exceed greater than 10000 now to visualize that you can see the transaction which will have all the events 
all 50 events whatever we have sent fraud alert will filter out the transaction which we are sending from code okay looks good now we might be thinking how simple is this just define the json study our job is done but is it really recommended to go with this approach in production no i would say this json study approach just defining one line and do the change in your application.yml wherever you are sending the value part it is good for learning purpose or you can say for demo or for better readability but in production application production grade kafka stream application if you want to achieve the advanced feature like you want to compress some data or you want to encrypt it or you want to maintain the schema uh, evolution or you want to hide few fields you don't want to serialize them or deserialize them then you don't have that control if you will go with this default approach for that the approach is straightforward and that is also recommended approach in real time you need to define your own custom serializer and deserializer then you can wrap those serializer and deserializer to a study wrapper okay i'll show you that so what i'll do i'll just create another package now here we need to define serializer and deserializer that is plain java code i am not going to write it i will just copy paste and you can understand by seeing the method signature paste it now see the code i have defined something called transaction serializer we will convert input object to the byte array at the time of serialization when you send the event to the topic okay that is where the basic flow guys now what we are doing here we have created a transaction serializer class we implement it from serializer who comes from org apache kafka then we have created a mapper object mapper and the method is serialize what it does it take the object write that value as a bytes array using this object mapper okay that is what our intention while doing the serialize convert object to bytes while deserializing convert bytes to object now if you we'll go and check the deserializer code what it does again we have the mapper it will take the byte array then convert that byte array to object using object mapper okay you can use other library as well i am using this jackson object mapper fine now you have your own serializer and deserializer what is your next step you need to create a study class for kafka stream so i'll define something like this transaction and this needs to extend from studies dot you will find something called wrapper okay and you need to define what exact parameter they are deal with now what you need to do why it is crying you need to define the super parameter constructor if you see the message what it is saying create a constructor matching super so what i'll do i'll do that first let me create a constructor public now here i'll use super and then i'll pass my serializer and deserializer to just initialize okay so what i'll do i'll just use new transaction serializer new transaction deserializer that's it this is the super class and since we have our the super class has uh, argument constructor while implementing that or extending that you must need to follow that pattern that is basic java right you must need to define the super with argument how many parameters your super class have all good we have defined our custom serializer and deserializer so there is no rocket science in serialize we are just not this one yeah in serialize we are just converting object to byte array in deserialize we are just converting byte array to object and that is what all we gave to this transaction sorry because kafka stream will not understand this java class he will only understand this sorry approach okay that is the reason we have followed this pattern and this is really recommended approach in real time you need to follow this and again you no need to write this again and again this is one time logic so what next now let's ask our kafka stream to use this go to your code the stream package open it now here how can you tell to your kafka stream 
to use the custom serializer and deserializer whatever we have created right just comment this simply tell here use new transaction same thing while producing that to the alert topic use the same now what next go to the application.yml there also you need to tell that right you can go to the application.yml and simply as part of the value study just tell that don't use this use com.javatechi.serde whatever the package you have defined then what is the class name make sure to define it properly if you do any spelling mistake it will cry on startup and here also in kafka producer if you want you can change it that is optional remove it you can define the serializer what we have defined what it does it just take the object convert it to the byte array not this one just use the class serializer this is how you need to define in your production grade code let's restart the application to validate whether it is working or not so it started now if you will check for sodis i should see my see here what is the value sodi transaction one whatever we have defined this class all good close everything now i'll go to the swagger so in the request again let's see whether it process the data or not can you see here there are few fraud alerts let's filter how many are there 14 okay we send 50 request out of 50 14 transaction marked as a fraud now if you go and check same in the fraud alert you will find few more records you can see this okay transaction topic this is how you can define your custom serializer and deserializer or sodis in kafka stream okay so in upcoming class we will make our application more real time by implementing the real actual logic to detect fraud transaction okay we will use the windowing we will use all different type of methods in kafka stream so give it try and let me know in a comment section if you have any doubts Thank you.